Number eight, um, we're going to solve this log expression. We have two times log base two of x minus nine plus log base two of two equals three. Okay, so we're going to take this multiple and bring it up as an exponent on this expression. This is a property of log, uh, base, same as the number we're evaluating the log of, that's equal to one. So we're gonna make those two changes first. Log base two of x minus nine is now squared plus one equals three. All right, so we're gonna start solving to try to isolate this log, get it by itself. We're gonna subtract one from both sides. So we get log base two of x minus nine squared equals two, because you're gonna subtract one. All right, now we're gonna write this in exponential form. So this base of two is gonna come over and become a two to the second power. That's gonna leave us with x minus nine squared equals two squared. All right, from here we're gonna simplify. So we're going to uh, FOIL distribute here and we're gonna square that. So uh, you square the first term that becomes x squared you multiply negative 9x and you double it because you'll have two of them. So it'll be negative 18x. And you square the last term, which will give us a positive 81. And this is equal to 4. All right, so here you should recognize quadratic expression. And so we go back to either quadratic formula or factoring. So we're going to set this side equal to 0 by subtracting 4 from both sides. And that will give us x squared minus 18x plus 77 equals 0. Um, factors of 77, 7 times 11. And that will, if you add, give you 18. 7 plus 11 will add to 18. So this will factor. All right, so we have a x, x, seven, and 11. The bigger number will be negative, and this tells me they're both the same. So they're both gonna be negatives. All right, from here we solve and set x equal to zero, so we will get x equals seven and 11. So we have two possible answers but before you confirm them, you need to go back to the beginning and make sure they both work. Remember with logs, we have this uh, criteria that if you're taking the log of something, whatever you're taking the log of, it has to be greater than zero, it has to be positive. So if you were to plug in this number seven, seven minus nine will give us a negative two and that will not work. Now plug in 11, 11 minus nine gives us a positive two, so that one will work. So 11 will be our only uh, solution.